good, YouTube? So today, I'm going to start my first segment of card lore, where I go through the story that are portrayed on cards. And as you see here, we're going to start with Gigabyte, who turns into Gaga Gigo, and turns into things that are really hard to say five times fast. So let's go ahead and get into the story. Little Gigabyte here, his flavor text says, He has a tranquil soul, but carries a destiny that one day his heart shall be tainted by evil. So you have this really innocent looking guy, and apparently he's just destined to be tainted, like de destined to fall to darkness. And um, we continue, and so he starts out with, uh, I believe it would be pronounced Aria, and she and Gigabyte go on these adventures, and she eventually becomes a familiar possessed, and as she grows, he grows, and as you see in Triangle Power, he eventually goes into a stage where he becomes Gigabyte, and then he evolves into Gaga Gigo over time. So, as you see, Familiar Possessed Area has the uh, uh, Gaga Gigo with her, and eventually all of the Familiar Possessed release their possessions in the card called Unpossessed, and they're free to go, and as you see, Nefarious is up there too, he becomes evil as well. So it just seems like once they lose the people to guide them, they kind of fall. So here's where some people think the card lore goes to that he got in a fight with Freed over food. And as you see in this card, it's Freed the Matchless General. And that's later, past Freed the Brave Wanderer where, during their first fights. So I don't think that's anything possible. I think it's more so they ended up finding each other and they're both powerful and they ended up fighting and... Uh, as you see, a dimensional prison it happens during the fight, and this rift opens up, probably opened by Freed, because he has an effect that can destroy. But instead of destroying, uh, he ends up trapped in a different dimension, which is actually, as flavor text will depict, Dark World. So, in DD Borderline, you see them trapped between dimensions, and uh, still staring down, unsure pretty much of what happened. So... Gaga Gigo ends up, you know, in the card stumbling art, he's just going through the dark world, barely surviving, and like, uh, also trapped in the dark, or, uh, dark world is basically its ruler at the time, Invader of Darkness. So, Invader of Darkness ends up putting him on the altar for tribute, and who comes and saves the day? It's Marauding Captain. But him and Marauding Captain are still stuck in the dark world, and they end up versus uh, one of his old enemies, Blazing Impachi. Basically, it seems like Invader of Darkness sets him on fire to power him up, but he only has a short time to live during this battle, but they're put in a cell and basically faced, uh, like, faced by Blazing Impachi, who is stronger than either of them, but they just have to last a certain time for him to burn out. So, as depicted in my body as a shield, during the fight, Marauding Captain ends up saving him and they become fast friends. And uh, one of his old enemies, uh, like, it's depicted, like, Goblin Attack Force is one of Marauding Captain's old enemies, and here you see Gaga Gigo basically playing with them on ice because they can't do anything. And so, continuing into the Dark World, as you see, one of the soldiers is being protected by Gaga Gigo, as an invader of darkness and absolute end is about to attack, and then in Spirit Barrier, he ends up getting blasted protecting this guy. So, Invader of Darkness basically hits him to the part that's so bad that he can't recover, and enter Kozaki, the mad scientist. He uh, basically is down there in the dark world with everybody, and he's kind of like a double agent-ish, like he's a scientist that they don't really know is evil, working for other purposes. So, inside of his lab, he takes Gaga Gigo and transforms him, and to Giga Gaga Gigo. So we get into those really hard to pronounce names where you would have trouble probably saying it a lot. But as it says, in order to fight tremendous evil, he gained the formidable, formidable power through body reconstruction, but lost his heart and his redemption. So he had redeemed himself. He got rid of that, rid of that evil through his travels with Marauding Captain. But instead, now he's turned into this tech monster that just wants to get stronger. So Eventually, compulsory evacuation device, you see him on there, and he's getting blasted out of basically the zone, and he appears back into the real world through Monster Gate. So where he first drops off is the Venom Swamp, and uh, he ends up fighting some of the Venom Monsters to like test his strength, and I assume because of his new mechanic parts, that really helps him there. 
And so, enter Freed the Matchless General. Back to his old adversary. His adversary has grown from Freed the Brave Wanderer to a Matchless General. He has his army, he has commands, and he has basically what looks to be tech upgrades as you see in Draining Shield. Gagiga, like, uh, Giga Gagiga Gigo ends up having to fight Freed. So, basically, he ends up getting destroyed in this battle, as you see in Death's Counter Blow. He's no longer in there, but he's just getting destroyed by this force field. So, he turns to darkness, just wanting to get stronger and stronger. And so, Go Giga Gaga Gigo is what becomes of him. His soul long since collapsed, his body recklessly continues onward, driven by a lust for more power. He no longer resembles his former self. So, you see, through everything, he goes back through the Dark World, chops off Impachi's head, brings it, drags Invader of Darkness' body, and beats Freed, and the only reason Freed doesn't die is because Marauding Captain pleads with him not to kill. And through remembering who Marauding Captain is, he finds himself again, and becomes Gagiga Gigo the Risen. Gaga Gigo. Gaga Gigo? Yeah. Gaga Gigo the Risen. It's really hard to keep saying this name over and over. So, through all this, he has the same attack as when he was turned evil and lusting for power, but he ends up wanting to just, you know, he, he's found himself. He's found his redemption here. And so you would think the story ends here, but then he just ends up in these weird, wacky space battles with, uh, I believe his name is Swordbreaker, or... It's it's the synchro from or exceed from redo, and so he another warrior just starts giving him troubles and battles in outer space. So we'll see if they continue it. They probably will. They have over twenty five cards dedicated to him, and some that aren't released over here. Same with Marauding Captain, and I would love for them to go back and kind of like do more of his time with Marauding Captain. But there you have the card lore for the story of Little Gigobyte turning into Gaga Gigo, turning into basically a mechanical monster and coming back. Thanks for watching. Tell me uh, what you other card lords you would like to see in the future. And have a good time, YouTube.